Hello guys. Uh, uh, I would like to show you how to create your Windows without having to import the Windows Revit as created. Uh, this has always been the way I've been doing my Windows for years now, since 2014. Uh, it has been helpful because it's easy to manipulate, easy to create, easy to edit, and uh, the renderings come out as expected. So, what I'll do now is to copy this model and uh, copy everything. Let's highlight the old drawing, go to your level one, copy. Let's copy outwards. This is what we want to deal with. So let's come back to ready and then click on delete all the windows. Let's delete all the windows. Let's delete all the windows. Yeah, we are back to normal. So like I was saying, this model, this is a very easy way to model your windows in a desired way so how do we go about it it's all about using your cutting walls to make your windows cutting walls they are like they are in glass form and they can be used for walls actually and also used as windows as the case may be so what do we do let's go to our wall click on our wall which is this our normal wall yes which is this and then now we click on this drop down list go to the last part of your walls because you have lots of walls so go go to the last part we have three types of walls we have the cutting wall we have the exterior glazing we have the storefront uh most of the time i'm always using the cutting wall you can always try your hands on the remaining and see how they are different so click on the cutting wall and then you uh click you draw your wall the normal way you draw the cutting wall the normal we draw our wall so this is the cutting wall here as you can see it's transparent it's, it's, it's a complete glass it's transparent so let's put it in the walls come to your level two as you want to see this is our level two this is this is this is where the level of the the this is where it's starting from the uh, ground floor slab. So the seal is going to come from here to 900, just the same way we raised the other windows that we used in the previous videos. So what do we do? We go to our level two. Go to our level two, and we are on our wireframe, helping us to see where the windows are to be placed. Come to your wall here. Come down to where the cutting wall is. Click on the cutting wall. I will show you something now which we need to understand better. So you come here, change your unconnected eye to what? Let's change it to our 15 just the way we want it. And then the base offset, meaning from the ground floor level to the seal level of the window. Let's put our 900. Then we apply. So we now come here and drop our. What did it, as you can see, we see highlighted walls overlap. One of them may be ignored when Revit finds room boundaries. Use code geometry to embed one wall within the other. We we won't need to use the code geometry to embed the, this window into the wall. But before before I give you the solution to it, let's go to our 3D to see where the window is actually sitting. This is where the window is sitting. As you can see, it's actually inside the wall. How do we how do we bring the window the uh, cutting wall out of the wall so that it will be visible? What we do is we click on the window, come to edit type. 
as you can see this is what we call automatically embed you click on this and you apply click on your okay and the window comes out so this is what we have now this is our window plain and neat you can do that for the remaining windows too plain and neat so you come to your level 2 as you can see the window is much more visible now as the wall is already cut click on this as you can see this is our line width when we click on it it switches off the whole thickness of the wall and when we unclick it brings back the wall thickness so as you can see this is our window we go to the next one click on our wall cutting wall is already selected the height is already there the offset is already there so we come here and drop it once again come here and drop it once again come here and drop it once again you can as well click on the wall come to the edit type and edit this before you before you uh, place any windows it depends on the way you want to do it so let's put everything in place 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 As you can see the way I'm drawing this, please monitor the direction at which I'm drawing it so that your windows will not fall to the outside of the wall. You can actually do like this. You can do this as you can see. The window falls inside. If I go like this, it falls outside. So that's that. That's how to draw your cutting walls. So click on the 3D. Uh, tab rotates as you can see these windows these windows are actually 600 by 600 windows what do we do we click on one of the cutting walls change the size to 600 apply it comes down what you do is just come to your elevation and then it's already clicked click on your move come here if you notice i want to move up to this level but it's not giving me the opportunity to come up what do i do i come here and remove the constraints if you remove the constraints and it's still giving you uh it still does not give uh, give you the permission to move upwards you come to this joint with this you are able to move anyway you can drop anyway so what where do you want to drop it you want to drop it at the level of this window as it has already given you the point you want to drop so you just click and then it drops so to achieve the remaining to achieve uh the 600 by 600 for the remaining windows what do we do we go to our modify uh tab click on the align to click on this click this click on this click this and we have our windows there like that we we'll do the same for some other windows like that if there is and if there are none let's move on so that's how to place the windows and i'm very sure you would notice that uh the windows are not they are only blank glass there are no uh mullions there no uh window search as the case may be so what do we do we need to add our mullions and before we add our mullions what do we do there is something that would hold the mullions which is the cutting grid and this is the cutting grid which is going to hold the mullions so depending on the way you want to design your window which is why i would recommend this uh uh this uh method for you it's easy for you to create your window the way you want it so how do we go about it click on the cutting grid here come here click on it arrange it the way you want it as you can see i've done it this way 
you can come to another elevation and arrange your cutting grid just the way you want it as you can see we have the whole segment one segment all except picked so if you click on one segment all we happen is this is this please follow me as i'm doing it as you can see i clicked on one side of the of the grid line and it's just take, giving it to me on on just that one side complete as against this which is going to give me this and then give me a complete one as you can see there is there are two different grid uh, creation now meaning that this window is so flexible for me to manipulate i can do it just the way i want it so let's go ahead and do the remaining like that let's go ahead and do the remaining like that just come to your cutting grid again this is so easy so flexible you can easily manipulate it you can move your grid lines as you want it if you want this to be 300 it depends on what you want if you want this to be 750 it depends on what you want you can actually move it just the way you want it you can create more than one one grid line you can create more than one grid line depends on what you want you can create more than one grid line so you can deal with it just the way you want it so we've created our grid line our cutting grid all we need now is to add mullions to the cutting grid just at the side of the cutting grid just click on the mullions and start adding and you will notice i have to be clicking one line at a time to add the cutting grid the mullion sorry so what you can do to avoid time wasting is come to this you click on after you have clicked on your mullions let's start all right again after you click on your mullions you come you have this grid line grid line segment click on all grid lines meaning once you click on any of the grid lines it gives you automatically automatically and with that you are able to finish up in no time come to your south mullions all grids straight away your left elevation mullions all grids your rear elevation which is the nuts let's add our cutting grid to this then architecture mullion all grids and we are done so that's that as you can see as you can see in the next video we will be talking about how to edit the mullion size and depth thank you very much